hundred and one podcasts have come and gone, and here we are again once more. I am Flame Flash, my friends. Welcome to the show. I can't continue carrying the tune. Oh, oh well. Welcome to episode one hundred and one of the pod flameflash.net podcast. I'm Flame Flash, as I attempted to sing before, and I'm going to start the show, as I always do, with the Wrapped Report. Now that we have a hundred episodes under our belt, though, we're going to change the Wrapped Report ever so slightly. I've been calling out those episodes, those games, that need that extra special attention. And I'm going to continue to do so, but sometimes there's just not enough time, if you know what I mean. The games don't change. They're stable. They are as they have been and always will be. An interesting anecdote from Nintendo Land? Sure, let's share it. How about that nearly impossible race from Need for Speed Most Wanted? No problem. But that doesn't come every day or every week. So let's focus on the gems from the Raptor Report from now on. And in so doing, I first bring you New Super Mario Bros. Wii U. Wait. I've already talked about this one, right? Except there's the human side to playing a game, too. Sure, I'll review games as I play them and try them out, but there's that human side. And sitting and playing with my almost five-year-old boy, with new Super Mario Brothers U, that's something. How did it come about? It came about because he was curious about, actually, the baby, newbie, the two-year-old. She was curious about Super Mario Brothers on my 3DS. Because, yeah, I'm an ambassador. Oh, yeah. 3DS ambassador right here. She was curious. Play it, Daddy. Show me how it works. I did. She lost interest quickly. But the almost five-year-old sparked. He wanted to play. He wanted to play with me. And so we did. Now, it's a heck of a lot easier as a family the size of mine for us to play New Super Mario Brothers Wii U. So that's what we did. Set aside the 3DS, and we played for 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes out of that entire week. Had a lot of gaming. 32 hours of gaming this last week. Recorded by Raptor. <laughs> Not all played by me, let me tell you. But it was played. Lego Harry Potter is hiding there on the wings from the Raptor report. Years 1 through 4? On the Xbox, of all things. Because, well, that almost five-year-old deleted his older brother's save. That older brother isn't very forgiving about his saves being deleted. Which is another reason PlayStation Plus is so awesome. Unless, of course, you don't catch the fact that the save is overwritten or deleted, and therefore you can't restore it back from the cloud. Which has also happened occasionally. I actually have one of those old rectangular flashcards in this launch PS3 for that exact purpose, to back up and save doubly some of those important key save files. But Lego Harry Potter was played. First solo by the oldest, and then after much begging, much prodding, that almost five-year-old joined in. 
Well, as is wont to do, frustration rises. Now, unfortunately for Mr. Ten-Year-Old, he doesn't have that emotional maturity yet to understand I'm playing with somebody half my age or over half my age. I have to be a little bit more patient. They don't understand everything that's going on on the screen. They just want to run around and have fun and be socializing with that older sibling or with daddy or mommy. So we eventually moved to Awesome Knots at some point during that weekend. Let me tell you, that's an impossible game to play when you basically have one of your team members AFK the entire time. Now, occasionally, Mr. Almost Five-Year-Old would charge out onto the field and then quickly run back. <laughs> because, you know, the other team shoots at him, as they're supposed to. He just doesn't shoot back like he's supposed to. But that's okay. He'll learn. Or he'll just not like MOBAs, which is perfectly fine, too. We fit. Remember to exercise, people. I am horribly looking forward to We Fit You at this point. I would like to hopefully see some save file integration with your Wii U gamer tag, Nintendo account, whatever it's called. But we'll have to wait and see. And so far, Nintendo has completely and totally failed at doing that. Only have three games, granted, for the Wii U. But they've failed. Nintendo Land, I understand the argument of not doing that. But not for New Super Mario Brothers U. Not at all. So how about that Persona 4? Guys, this is a good book. Curl up on the couch, drain your Vita battery, and then put it away to charge, and you'll go back to it in another week. I just finished The People of Sparks, second book of the book, Books of Ember. Another good book, not as strong as the first one, and the first one, honestly, can be replaced by the movie. But you know, there's some subtle differences that you won't pick up on. No moles, for instance. I'll leave that there in case you haven't seen the movie or read the book. But the story progresses. We have had four people kidnapped or at least confront their inner demons, and we're on to the fifth. Now, every other character so far has meant you're picking up a new playable character to join your team. What I'm loath to do, though, is drop the original four. I'm. It saddens me that the game couldn't just become progressively tougher by... having you feel individually weaker but strong as a team. Now, granted, I haven't ventured into the dungeon as of yet to start the rescue procedure, but I get the overall feeling that's what's going to happen, that you're going to get stuck with only four characters, which is standard JRPG fare, but I'm hankering for something more. Now, Final Fantasy X attempted to do this. Final Fantasy X2 attempted to do this. With X2, the job switching. X, the character flipping. But you only had three characters on the screen at a time for both of those games. You just job switched or character switched right in the middle. 
not picking up the remaster decks, by the way. It seems like a waste of money. Sure, you get trophies, but I have a backlog as it is. I don't need my backlog being bigger just because of an HD remake. I'd rather expose my kids to, say, Earthbound. But we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're still in the Raptor Report. League of Legends. I took that 10-year-old into his first game of League of Legends. We ran off with Red Flair's laptop, and so he was sitting across the room from me, and we played. And satisfactorily, the team won. It also gave me enough points to buy Lux, my first champion. I now actually have a champion on my account that will not be cycling out. I like that. I am thankful for it. Lots of time has gone in to that. I'm ranked experienced on Raptor because of that. But the games are good. I'm enjoying them. It's satisfying making character making people run from me. I clearly know what I'm doing. Or at least enough that they run from me. <laughs> no boasting. They'll put me on a losing streak, I'm sure. Magic the Gathering had my best streak ever. Now this is the 2013 block in Estrad and Ravnica. Dragon's Maze is about to come out. And the physical cards. The last few Friday Night Magics, I took a blue-black deck. I decided to change things up, and I took a blue green deck an evolution deck well it evolves albeit slowly and succumbs easily to burn nukes board wipes and all in all nasty things that I just didn't have pardon me for those watching the video my back itches but I just didn't have the oomph so I eventually fell into the losing bracket which is fine and won those last two games so I finally have a 2-3 record which is the best record I've ever had hmm. oh well this next Friday Night Magic, I'm actually going to again, if the weather cooperates. The weather certainly did not cooperate today. We are still getting snow. I don't mind that, but it becomes heavily inconvenient. But, if the weather cooperates, tomorrow night, or today night, I should say, that ten-year-old and I will be off to a two-headed giant. He with a black-white extortion deck, and me with a white-green angel deck. Mostly Avison Restored angel deck. Strange, I know. It's definitely outside of my usual strategies, but... Might as well give it a shot. One neat little thing on reading the rules of Two-Headed Giant, you get a free mulligan. So if you don't like your opening hand, mulligan. Draw seven more. In standard Friday Night Magic, you don't have that luxury. You're going down to six. So it's always that battle of, do I or don't I? Do or I don't I? Be card disadvantaged or have a really crappy hand and probably not get lucky on your draws. 
So, two and three. I feel extremely dirty about my second to last game because I actually kind of bluffed the guy into making a mistake. I'm not sure I count that as a win. I know games are mental as well, but had he not made that mistake, he would have won. Now, it's not like I was saying, oh, I'm just going to purposefully ignore a trigger and therefore it's not going to hit me. No. I encouraged him to attack with a creature. I chump blocked him and then I attacked with everything and got him. So you're not going to attack me with that huge guy? Yeah, well, okay. Clearly, the fellow was tired. As was I at that point. But, squeaked by. World of Warcraft, Raptor. Nothing really to report. I am now the master. Need to log in to get that uh, token daily. Three minutes, that's all it takes. And I'm nice and close to my a flippable table, finally. Twenty more days after that, the last two recipes. And then I'll see what else I might be able to get. Maybe make some gold off of uh, all of those iron paw tokens that I'll suddenly be rolling in. Don't know. Still working otherwise on reputations. And I have yet to venture into a heroic dungeon. Big shrug. Oh well. But that is a raptor report. And we are running high on time. I guess it helps when I actually have a little bit of time to game. Speaking of World of Warcraft, we're going to do one of those flame flash rolls. Barrel rolls! Straight into news. 5.3. Roll check for Battlegrounds. So we already have the roll check for raids, dungeons, uh, anywhere else. No, well, that's about it. Are you a healer? Are you a tank? Are you a TPS? No, it's there. Ooh, excuse me. No, it's there for BGs. The goal, Blizzard says, is to try to balance healers. They're not going to force the issue to increase queue times, but they're at least going to attempt to balance the issue. Bring balance to the force. I'm going to jump real fast, because this is funny. A judge holds himself in contempt of court. So, he has a nice set of rules posted somewhere that says, if your cell phone interrupts the court proceedings, you will be held in contempt and you will be fined $25. Well, his cell phone interrupted the court proceedings. So, during a, the first break, gavel down. He held himself in contempt and paid the fine. That is integrity. That is what Washington is missing. Integrity. Nintendo had a few big announcements. A new 3DS Mario Party. I am really hoping that this is a single cartridge play, just like the last one. It better be. It needs to be. I mean, why else buy it? Seriously, why else? A 3DS Mario Golf? Or was this a Wii U? I didn't really understand if that was going to be a 3DS or a Wii U. I'd rather a Wii U, but if it's a 3DS version, as long as it's multi-cart again, or multi-download um, with a single cartridge, I'm all aboard. Yoshi's Island for the 3DS. Awesome. As a, an ambassador... I, every once in a while, enjoy playing the original Yoshi's Island. 
or are watching that almost five-year-old do so. It's one of his favorite games for some reason. Last but not least, a link to the past two. A link to the past two for the 3DS. Excellent. A Link to the Past was probably that Zelda game that I first really, really liked. Yes, Zelda 1's there. It's good. Zelda 2 is so off the wall, I just, it's not overly satisfying to me. Those old RPGs, and this is heavily an RPG, don't give you enough breadcrumbs. So you're just wandering around, oh, the monsters are too tough here. I must need to either go and grind levels, or I'm in the totally wrong area. Usually you're in the totally wrong area. But A Link to the Past? Sure, I'm game. I never owned that one. I only played it at friends' houses light rental here or there. So I never progressed very far. We'll see if my curiosity holds and I actually invest in buying it. Probably not. I'm not a huge Zelda fan. But I am a huge Earthbound fan. Earthbound may be the game when it comes to Virtual Console for the Wii U that after I'm done with Persona or while my Vita is charging, I could grab that Wii U gamepad and sit down and play and remember. I still have the original strategy guide, after all. A little bit of writing in the back, because I was trying to figure out what level each of the spells triggered on. So I've played through it a couple of times already. But to expose the kids to this one. To expose the kids to a light-hearted, still fun, still entertaining RPG. They've watched me play Final Fantasy. They're interested in the story. I want to drag them in, kicking and screaming, and finally enjoy an RPG from the Super Nintendo's heyday see if it happens. Now with the spring update to the Wii U it will come this Earthbound. Will also come the available updates to all of my Wii Virtual Console titles, hopefully. I'm ready and waiting. Ready and waiting for that. It'll add some more games immediately right there on the uh, gamepad for play. But it'll also continue to expose the classics. In a way, sadly, is just not going to happen as much as the years go by. I wonder how much, for instance, this little collection will someday be worth. It's definitely a little collection. But it's mine. Including Mule. Including the original Mario Brothers. Which some said didn't even exist back in the day. They didn't believe me, the fools. The classics. But, I am Flame Flash. And this was episode 101. So I'll leave you all to your evenings, your days, and your podcasts. Don't forget about me. I'm over on Raptor. R-A-P-T-R dot com slash flameflash. You can just come to flameflash.net. Then there's always, oh, emailing in. 
podcast at flameflash.net. Feel free to fling me a note there. I try to look at my email every week, at least. I try to stomach Facebook every week, at least. But that's a rant for another time. I am Flame Flash. Signing off.